Hey guys, welcome. This is Kino. I am playing on the Bettering Game Monarch server and today I'd like to show you a tutorial on how to create the Craftbook Automatic Melon Farm. It's the same farm I've showed you in the previous video, but today I want to make the melon variety. So let's take a look at what we're going to need. The top part here is for the items used in the harvester. You can use other light sources. Uh, you can use other opaque blocks for the redstone signal and the crunching. Um, you can also use another exterior if you like, and of course the pumpkin seeds. Also you can use any kind of hole you like, but of course I'm going to use diamond. And the items down here you'll need to create the uh, redstone and craft book timer. And of course this block can be replaced with others. So let's get to building this. Alright, first of all we're gonna start making a pillar 3 high, just with temporary blocks, and then we're gonna grab our sticky pistons. We're gonna make some upside down pistons for a total length of 12. And right next to it another line of 12 sticky pistons. Okay, skip to the first two pistons and place two temporary blocks and again place some upside down pistons. In this instance eight of them there we go. And on the other side place another two temporary blocks with some sticky pistons, two rows of 12 again. And on this side again skip two pistons, place two temporary blocks and the last eight sticky pistons you will place here. Okay, now we can remove those temporary blocks, we don't need them anymore. Alright, now let's get some of the opaque blocks we had to pick and let's place them underneath all the sticky pistons. Okay, let me make a little cut. I'll be back when I've placed these blocks. Okay, next up it's time to plant our melon seeds. So let's take our seeds and I forgot to pick the hoe from the chest, so there we are, and we're gonna hoe every little spot next to the blocks you see here, and as you see you gotta be fast since the soil will be untilled since it's not hydrated, and you will only do the blocks on Okay, sorry for the short intervention. I noticed my sound just went silent. Um, what I was saying is that you need to place the blocks, um, the seeds only on the insides of the blocks. And that's because we're gonna put some glass around it. Uh, you can use the other blocks to place around it as well. I'm just gonna use glass since it will go good with the melons. So if you just follow this pattern it will make sure that every seed has only one spot where a melon or pumpkin can grow and it can only grow directly underneath a piston Oh. 
Okay. Now let me put up a few more rows of this, and I will be again, be back again with. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've placed two more rows on top of the glass. So now let's continue doing some of the redstone work here. So let's grab ourselves our other stack of blocks, and let's place two uh, blocks back there. Leave one space open, and then fill up all the other blocks. So, with the single ones as well. So let me do this pattern all over, and I will see you back in a second. Okay, so we have placed the blocks on top of the pistons. Now let's put on some levers, since we need to get our craftbook ICs connected here. So let's put the levers on the back of the blocks. Alright, and now let's grab our blocks again and place them on top of the levers. Alright, now let's get out our redstone and let's trace all the blocks we have just placed everywhere. Don't forget the back. So let me do this and I'll be back. Okay, now that our redstone is placed, let's in my case do the lighting and or ceiling. So we're gonna fill it up at this level. You can use any blocks for this. If you're using something else than glowstone, you can actually place it one block lower. But since the redstone will turn this into uh, glass, this is not a very good idea to put it lower. So let me fill in all the areas. Um, let me quickly show, place them only next to the redstone on the insides again. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, now let's go start putting the craftbook ICs in here. So let's grab our um, let's grab our signs, and I should not have fallen off. Um, let me just cheat this bit. There we go. And let me place the craftbook ICs. In this case, MC. 1111s and let's make this um, well let's make it the same signal as my other farm so Kino's farms and there we go now let's do this another five times and I'll be right back okay so now I've placed all the craftbook receivers on all six lines so now let me raise the level of the class by another two blocks and I'll be back when I've done when I've done that so I can show you how to create the item collection and then we're going to continue to the redstone. Okay, so I've placed all the glass around the farm so it's now completely closed in. Um so now let's start on the item collection and we're going to start from down here. First of all, let's get our chests and let's place a double chest right here and next we're gonna climb up on one of the two sides using some hoppers so let's do one two three four hoppers then we're gonna place a chest I'd like to put it just like this then we're gonna take another six hoppers and run it from the hopper you just placed. Next, grab your chest, make it a double chest, put a block below it, and let's put a sign on the side with MC1214S in it and a range of 9. And there we go, we have a ranged item collector. The items will now be collected and will be transferred down. It did not pick up anything yet, so um, let's give it a quick test. It should pick it up when it's here. 
new. Um, let's go back up. Let's throw an item down here. And they're gone. Yes, it works. Okay, so let me give a minute to prepare and I'll show you how to create the timer I've used for this. Be back in a second. Okay, so let's start with the items we need. Let me grab everything in hand. And let's do move to a spot where we have a bit of area to build it. So here we go. First of all, we're going to start with a clock. This is the MC1421. And we're going to put it to 500 sec uh, 500 uh, ah, 500 ticks sorry um, then put a lever on the back of course and let's put another block here and right here we are going to make a toggle put another lever on the back this doubles the time between pulses or the time between uh, the signal changing Next up, we're going to make a mono stable, the MC1422, and we're going to make it activate on high signal. Alright, and next, we grab our redstone. Run it out from here back to here into a repeater on two ticks running into a block place another block right here a torch here a torch here some redstone let's break this and reverse the memory cell now let's grab our repeaters. One, one, two, three, four. Put them all to four ticks. And that's our delay for the memory cell. Now let's get our signal out from this block. And let's place our final craft book I see right here MC1110 this is the transmitter I am gonna use a different uh, I should use the same channel here as I have used in the farm but since I've already connected the farm to the other one I will use I will name this Kinos farms without a little comma. So there we go. We have a wireless transmitter and well it should be almost ready to go. Let me do a little cut and see if this works. Okay so let's see if it works. Perfect you see there is a longer pulse and it will only activate once every 3 minutes and 20 seconds so if I connected it to this farm it would harvest uh, quite fast um, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial if you've liked it please leave a like thanks for watching and I'll see you later